Happy Friday, Vikings. I hope you enjoyed this KLIV episode. <laughs> what? <laughs>
I'm feeling bad because it was it was um, unexpected and uh, we all want peace and um, quiet. We don't want uh, war. Please, like, stop because um, people suffer from it, and we. Uh, we must we must uh, go out of the country because we have like no other choice there you have it we wish ukraine the best and hope for a quick resolution with minimal loss of life hi vikings and vikings it's kuwait's national liberation day what is it exactly national day is when kuwait became independent with the end of the british protectorate liberation day is when the gulf war ended the war started August 2, 1990 by the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein and ended due to our Sheikh al Sabah's family great diplomatic experience and efforts. Kuwait gained international support and the whole world stood in support of right in the face of the invasion, which resulted in Operation Desert Storm that was led by the United States President George Bush. Thanks America and all the countries that stood with us. And that's why we gather together and make parades all February long. Fun facts, Kuwait has the strongest currency in the world. Kuwait also always donates to poor countries, and that's why our Sheikh Sabah was awarded Prince of Humanity. And that's all. Have a good day, everyone. Good day, Lesher Vikings and Vikings. I have a quick question for you. What is the heaviest human-made object in the universe? If you guessed the ISS, you would be correct. The International Space Station is estimated to be worth $160 billion. That's not including the 3 to $4 billion just to keep it running yearly. Unfortunately, after 12 years, the ISS is not working as well as it did, well, 12 years ago. And it's starting to cost more to run it than scientists get out of it. Um, that's why in the year, around the year uh, 2030, scientists will be crashing the ISS into Point Nemo. Point Nemo is one of the most remote locations on the whole entire planet. It's been, been 3,000 miles away from the coast of New Zealand and 2,000 miles away from Antarctica. The closest people to it are the people actually on board the ISS. Point Nemo is also called the World Space Graveyard because since 1970s, the world has used this place to crash all their space junk. That's all for me, folks. Have a wonderful weekend. Hey, hi, let your Vikings and Vikings. I'm Haley Schneider. Quick joke for you. Why did the kid throw the alarm clock out the window? Because he wanted to see time fly. <laughs> That 100% didn't have anything to do with the segment, but you know about Elon Musk, right? Well, back in November, he donated about six, ready, six billion dollars to charity. That is so much money. While we're on the topic of Elon Musk, did you know that the Tesla company is worth over 900 billion dollars? I, I, I don't even know anymore. As many of you know, Tesla is an electric car. And something weird to think about is that electric cars were actually invented about 50 years before gas cars. The reason they didn't continue to make them and they weren't very big was because gas powered cars could travel further and they were more efficient than electric cars. Interesting. Well, that's all folks. Have an awesome day. Hello Vikings. Did you know spring hares are one of the first glow-in-the-dark animals ever known to science? These color-emitting African mammals were brought out when Eric R. Olson and his team went to Chicago's Field Museum of National History. According to Doggo News, when their UV flashlight radiated on the spring hares in the drawer, the animal's brown fur lit up into tufts of pink and orange. The fact that this piece of fur had been collected in 1905 and still glows is astonishing. We saw this pinkish orangish biofluorescence in the drawers, and that was an exciting moment, Olson told Live Science. Seeing something like this, probably for the first time, it really stoked the fires of curiosity. However, given that these mammals found so far live in three continents and very different environments, researchers suspect there is more to be discovered. This story was Written by our very own 8th grader and KLIB staff member, Ace. Woohoo, go Ace. <laughs> hey, Vikings and Vikings. Have you ever gotten your belongings stolen by an animal? Well, if you haven't, this is the most likely case. This family has. The Varus Wheelers had just finished hiking the Kepler track when a Kia, a native species to New Zealand, grabbed their GoPro and flew off. According to CNN Travel News, they had turned on the camera of, to film a group of birds that were near, but one cheeky Kia decided to have a go at it. They snapped the camera, 
Fortunately, they found their GoPro, following the bird, since it was flying at a straight path. It was relieved that they found the camera. Have a good weekend, Vikings, and watch out for those mischievous birds. Bye. Hi, Lister Vikings and Vikings Queens. I'm Haley Schneider. Quick joke for you. What has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. But unfortunately, trash isn't really something to joke about. In 2015, there were about five and a quarter trillion pounds of trash in the ocean. But this year, 2022, there's almost 600 trillion pounds of trash. And that's covering about 40% of our Earth's oceans and other bodies of water. Our Earth is our home, but you can help. In multiple ways, even. The first thing that you can do is donate to places like Team Seas, .org or the Ocean Cleanup North Pacific Foundation. Geez, that's a mouthful. The second way that you can help is by asking your parents to buy and purchase non-plastic bags. So, like the ones that you buy at the grocery store or any store for that matter. Nah, the third way that you can <laughs> the, the third way that you can help is when you see trash on the ground, pick it up and throw it away. Even though we live in Colorado, this magical thing called weather will eventually sweep those pieces of trash into the ocean if it's not already if it's not our, all, already in oceans or lakes. The, it, lakes or rivers. The last thing that I'm going to talk about is volunteering at events. Well, the, I really hope that you will help protect our planet. That's all, folks. Have an awesome day. Good day, my friends. I'm Matthew. And I'm Fatima. And today we will be testing our Vikings and Vikings on how much they know about planet Earth. We're here with Cam, North, Maddie, and Ace. Hey, do you know where I put the boxes for our contestants? No clue. Question one, how big is Earth? Is it A, 3,958.8 miles, or B, 9,832.1, or C, 2,429 miles? B, A. a. I'm gonna say A. Yeah, A. A. Okay, all three of you got it correct except Madison. <laughs> Yay. Yes. All right, question two, how many countries are there? A, 536, B, 195, or C, 180. They're all in the hundreds? Um, can you give me B again? 195. Um, yeah, that one, B. B. Yeah, B. Um, I'm gonna say A. Okay, um, three of you were correct. It was uh, B. B, so. 195. <laughs> Okay, question three. What's the second biggest country in the world? Is it A, Vietnam, B, China, or C, Canada? C. C. Canada. C. Is that C? Yeah, Canada. Um, I'm going to say C, too. Okay, you all got it correct. Question four. What was the first wonder of the world? A, hanging gardens of Babylon, uh, B, pyramids of Giza, or C, Great Wall of China? B. B. Um, I'm gonna say B. A. Three of you got it correct. Uh, north, it was Pyramids of Giza. Oh. Okay, question five. True or false? All the continents are actually smaller than in the real map. True or false? What? False. True. You wanna see? True. Um. <laughs> okay, now you can not see it. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> question six. What is the biggest star in the solar system? What? I thought this was about Earth. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. on Earth. Okay. Uh, okay. UI, UI Scooty, uh, the Sun, or Vega? Vega. Or, sorry. A, B, and C. It's Vega. C, Vega. Vega. C. Yeah. Vega. Um, Back in Marty. Let's cool. see. I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm going to say the Sun. You're all incorrect. Yeah. It was ah. UY Scooty. Wow. Why you Scooty? Why but you guys, it's Earth star? trivia because it's trivia that takes place on Earth. Uh -huh. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's why we didn't get that one oh correct. My gosh. How many days do you need to hike the Great Wall of China? Is it A, one year, B, 442 days, or C, nine hours? Definitely not C. I'm going to um, say A. B. Wait, what was B? Um, B was 442 days. 442 I'm gonna guess yeah, go with 442. Years, B. So. 442. I'm going with 442. 
Yeah. Lock my no, answer. No, I'm 400. Oh, God. 42. Okay, so the correct answer was B. Oh so my two, God. Got it right. What? Yes. No. Booyah. Uh, All right. I'm gonna move back. I want to be taller. Last question. What is the fifth biggest planet? A. Earth. B. Jupiter. Or C. Neptune. Yep. Jupiter. Neptune. <laughs> Jupiter. Jupiter. Uh, <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Jupiter is the largest. Right, North, no. you got it correct. It was Neptune. And he did. He got it. Wait, hey, I, I, I said Neptune, too. I said Neptune, too. Oh, Neptune, yeah. Yeah. So, two of you got correct. Yeah, okay. I got it correct, too. Oh, you said Neptune? Okay, that was the last That's question. Neptune. Congratulations. The winner was Cam. Oh, woo! Vikings and Vikings. I'm Haley Schneider. Quick joke for you. During my trivia game, I asked the contestants to define defenestration. No one got it right, so I threw that question out of the window. If you know if you know the definition of defenestration, then congratulations. You're a nerd. Anyways, oh, oh yeah, trivia. This trivia is fun, but kind of weird and pretty random. Let's see if we can put Sienna and Ava to the test to see what they know. And the winner gets a Jolly Rancher. So, let's get it. Okay, question one. What is the most popular line dance song in 2022? Is it A, Fancy Like, B, Bad Blood, or C, Macarena? A. You both are correct. Yeah. I knew it. Uh, question e. five. I know, right? Yeah. I e. <laughs> what is the Guinness World Record for the most spoons on a human body? Is it A, 1,359, B, 85, C, 139. Uh, C. Uh, B. Ava, you are correct. Dang it. That's the girl in the Lesher shirt. And Sienna's the, uh, the uh, question me. What is the weirdest food that you have ever tried? Is it A, yes, B, maybe, or C, no? That doesn't even make any sense. B, uh, watermelon? What? <laughs> A. Uh, wow, Ava, I'm very impressed. You are correct on that one. Yes. Uh, it, is, it is A, yes. Uh, question. How dare you interrupt me? <laughs> question Fump. In Among Us, how many colors are there for your character choice thing? Is it A, 2, B, 17, or C, 18? And this is the most recent update. I have 18. No I don't play more. Yes. Seventeen. So B. Yeah. B. Sienna, you are correct. Okay. Question six. When did the movie Sing Two come out? A. December twenty third, two thousand twenty one. B. Arizona, or C. December twenty second, two thousand twenty one. A. Uh. C. Sienna, you are correct again. Yeah, we're tied. You are tied now. Folks, the tensions are very high for this one. The last and final question. Oh. Decides who will get the most almighty prize you could ever get. Um, what time does the eighth grade lunch bell ring for them to go to lunch? Is it A, 1132, B, 1214, or C, 1048? B. B. You both are correct, so you tied. But I said it first. Um, uh, bonus question. Okay. Like rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, bonus question. How old am I? Uh, A, uh, 10, B, 12, or C, 11, or 12. D, none of the above? 12. <laughs> uh, 11. Ava, you're correct. Yeah. Yeah. Jolly Rancher, my life is amazing. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Happy Friday, Vikings. A while ago, I made a Google form. A form that lets you choose who the next contestants are going to be of questionnaire duels. A whopping 29 people voted. And Mr. Pites, Mrs. Freemeyer, Mrs. Jones, and Miss Davis were some of them. Some of them. Thanks, teachers. So here's who you voted for. Quick side note: some of them had like the same amount of votes. So I had to do like ten Google coin flips to decide. So now for Team One, the Fritos. Nick with eleven votes. 
Varric, aka Melissa, with 15 votes, Religion with 8 votes, and Matt with 8 votes. And now for Team 2, the Doritos. Sunny with 13 votes, Yamil with 9 votes, Porter with 9 votes, and Trinity with 9 votes. This trivia will also be about Cheetos and a couple questions about me. And now, question our duels. Let's go. Cheetos invented. Is it 1948 or 1952? Um, uh, 52. The snow day. You are incorrect. It was 1948. 1951. Incorrect. It was 1948. <laughs> what was the first time I said gotta eat them Cheetos? Was it in the first episode or the second? Uh, the second. Episode. You are correct. First. Incorrect. When did I have to change my catchphrase to gotta eat them Cheetos to gotta eat those Cheetos? Is it because I sounded like I was swearing and Mr. Reyes told me to change it? Because a kid named Dominic gave me $5 and would see if anyone would notice? Or C, because our cameraman from 2019 accidentally changed it when review it, reviewing my script? And we appreciate you are incorrect. It was A. Uh, C. You are incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> Bonus question. What was Chino Guy born in? San Jose, California, San Francisco, California, San Diego, California, or none of the above? None of the above. You are incorrect. Oh my God. It was San Francisco. Oh. D, none of the above. You are correct. <laughs> Just kidding. It was B, San Francisco. <laughs> I, told you, I told you it was B. I told you. Hey besties, quick joke for you. What do you call a song sung in a car? A cartoon! <laughs> really? Anyways, music is really fun to listen to. Some of the most famous songs are Easy On Me by Adele, Shivers by Ed Sheeran, and Need To Know by Joja Cat. What is your favorite song? Also, did you know the person who wrote Encanto also wrote Hamilton? I didn't. Now here's a random clip of a light bulb. Anyways, that's all folks. Have the best, most awesomest, coolest weekend that you've ever had. Bye! Hey Lester Vikings, I'm Kayla Bravo. I got something that I found interesting. In Seattle, some people that own Mazdas made between 2014 and 2017 are literally unable to change the radio station. According to newsforkids.net, this issue started earlier this February and their car radios could only play a local Seattle station called KUOW. Now, they could just play some music on their phones after hooking up the Bluetooth, right? No, because the radio is not, only, not the only issue. Turns out that their GPS and Bluetooth functions are not working either. And those are some key things to have in a car these days. Don't you agree? Well, they could fix that their local local Mazda dealership, right? No, again. It could cost $1,500 to fix the entertainment system. However, Mazda is offering to replace those entertainment systems for free. That's also a tricky thing because with this supply chain shortage, resources are scarce. So those people are gonna be waiting a long time. Well, looks like Seattle's struggling a bit. Let's wish these people good luck. Anyway, that's all from me today, and have a great weekend, Vikings. Hi, Lester Vikings and Vikings. Today we're going to tell you everything you didn't know you needed to know about Grogu. Known to fans as Baby Yoda, the star of The Mandalorian. And Gizmo, the adorable star of Gremlins. If you haven't heard of him, just look at these pictures and you'll be another one of his fans. 
To start off, here's something you might not know unless you've actually watched The Mandalorian. Grogu is not a baby version of the Yoda we know and love. He's not even related to him in any way, although they are obviously the same species. And he's his own person, or alien, I guess. And as for Gizmo, he's a mogwai. His name means one who is playful, and he's kind, caring, and funny. If you want to adopt one as a pet, you, you're going to need to know these three very important rules. Never expose them to sunlight, never get them wet, and never, ever, ever feed them after midnight. If you haven't guessed, these rules get broken during the movie. Another fact about Grogu is that he's actually 50 years old, which most fans know. But he still acts like a baby, and he's willing to eat almost anything, including frogs, spider eggs, and more. He's also struggling with the dark side of the Force. At the end of Chapter 14, he uses the Force to torture stormtroopers, seemingly out of spite, whereas Jedi are only supposed to use it in self-defense. Wow, baby Yoda. Here's one more gizmo fact for you. He's actually really awesome. In the Gremlins movie, he saved the entire world from being overcome by gremlins. That's a hero if I've ever seen one. That's all the time we have, but we'll leave it up to you to decide which one's cuter. Have a great weekend, Vikings! Hey, Lesher Vikings, I'm Kilo Bravo. And I'm Thompson Hess. Did you know that Pooter School District is the only school district in the state that has golf as a competitive sport? Well, guess what? The golf season starts on March 7th, which is in two weeks. There will be 12 boys and 12 girls competing against other schools. The season will last about seven weeks. Then there will be a qual the district tournament for the qualifying players. Synapses ups have closed for this sport, but remember, uh, when are the tryouts? The tryouts are... Uh, Mar uh, March 7th. Yes. Yeah. March 7th. All right. The tryouts are March 7th. Uh, well, let's wish these players good luck. Hi, Lesher Vikings and Vikings Queens. I'm Haley Schneider. Quick joke for you. Why do pa what do pandas use to make waffles? Pans, duh. Animals are the coolest thing ever. And you know about March Madness, the basketball tournament that's in March. Well, you might be asking yourself, wait, Haley, what do those have in common? Well, let me answer that question for ya, for y'all, and other people. March Madness with mammals. By the way, unfortunately, this doesn't include basketball. It would be very cool if animals could play basketball, but still, it's super cool. This year, it starts on, starts on March 7th, and there's a bracket with a lot of different mammals, and there are four divisions. Mammal Collectives, Wild North America, Queens of the Sea and Sky, and Why Not Both. If you want to learn mo more about this, you can go to this page right here. It looks super interesting, so you should totally do it. One more thing before I'm done. You, did you know that spiders can live up to 25 years? Wait, but that means... Okay, well that's all folks. Have an awesome day. Hi, Lusher Vikings and Vite Queens. I'm Haley Schneider. Quick joke for you. What kind of shoes do burglars wear? Sneakers! You know what? I'm just not even gonna say but did you know did you but do you know what is funny bloopers so let's see what kind of fun things Hail Ivy does behind the scenes Maya what are you doing right now doing research cool hey Adrian what are you doing right now I'm admiring that the picture oh yeah we need to see what Fatima drew Wait, are you doing it's literally show? wonderful look at that look at that portrait gotta eat those Cheetos nope what are you, you doing? Film? What are you doing, Macy? Do you need to film? What are you doing? I'm Jakey Boy. Do you need to film? Uh, no, I don't need to film. Okay, Thank you for you asking, though. We share an ELO with the reading P. We share an ELO with the reading people. Congratulations. Look at those. Look at those. Those are do wonderful. Do you like my skirt? It has pockets. Those are the best. <laughs> Those are the best shorts I've ever seen. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Skirt. Well, the skirt is amazing, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Actually, no. This is a sweater vest. Okay, we're done talking about that. Now we go over here. Maya, what are you doing again? Writing a script. Ooh, she's writing a script. Spoilers? Nope. <laughs> Let's see here. Yo, Artemis, what are you doing right now? We're twins. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, we're twins. Wait, will you like? Don't make eyelashes. Will you like? Hold on. Twins! Wait, that's sideways. Hold on, we gotta get it. Wait, it's not even filming. Is it filming? Is it filming? Is it filming? Is it filming? Oh, it's still filming. Okay. Hey! Twins. We don't have the same shoes on. Why'd you steal your shoes? 
Twins. 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 Yeah. Okay, that's, that's Can't Lie Be Bloopers. Hello, Vikings. Why are you guys here? Adrian, it's like 4 o'clock. We go. need to go home. Go home. Go to sleep. Oh. oh. Adrian, seriously. I know it's dark, but... Ah! 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 Ah!